What up, dudes? ZR Car here, back again with another passport video. So, for those of you that don't know, this is my 2020 Honda Passport Elite. So, the Elite is the top of the line for the Passport. The color is called Modern Steel Metallic. It's not very sunny today, but there is some flake in there. It's a little windy out here. I'll try to keep the wind noise down. But, uh, you know how that goes. So today, I kind of wanted to talk about some of the questions you guys have been asking. So, I have had this since new. since I bought it brand new, and... If you look back on my channel, you can even see, see the uh, test drive. It's pretty far back there, but I think it's going on a year now. Haven't done a ton of this. Tinted the windows. Put the tow hitch on. I need some black license plates, though. Something fierce. And for you guys that don't know, it's got the 3.5 liter V6 in it. 280 horse. I think the uh, foot pounds is like 282. Haven't looked for a while. So don't roast me in the comments. Suckers. Just kidding. All right. So today I just wanted to address some of the questions you've been asking. First one was, uh, how's the seat fairing? In other words, some people say that they've seen these ripped and all torn up after a short time. But mine are doing pretty good. I've got like 13,000 miles on this thing and I don't see any abnormal wear or anything like that. That was a recent question I got. Here comes the loud noise. Wish I could get rid of that beep. Quite a bit of room in here as you can see. Awesome. One of the big differences between this and the pilot, of course, is there's no third row in this. But I really, really, really like this a lot more than the CRV. Mainly for that towing. And the horsepower that naturally aspirated V6. Sweet. They keep it pretty clean. I figured since it was. Looking decent. I'll throw up another video. All right, let's see. Second thing, let's talk about the gas mileage. Bunch of people have been saying that they don't think this gets super good gas mileage but but I average about 25 miles per gallon you can see 25 25 23 I think I was pulling the trailer for that 23 but that's pretty good if you ask me it's not unheard of for this to get better gas mileage and 
It's definitely not unheard of for this to get worse gas mileage. So hopefully that solves a little of the gas mileage problem. Um, as you can see, I don't have a problem with it. Another thing that uh, people want to know about is the stereo, like this head unit itself. It's kind of that dusty. Sorry about that. So I guess there's either, man, I don't know if it's a recall or if it's um, just a personal problem people have been having. But I guess a lot of people have problem with this freezing. So I have zero problems with this thing. Matter of fact, if I ever got rid of this vehicle, I would really, really, really miss the head unit and these speakers. So I think it's got four, 540 watts, something like that. I'd have to look at the website to be sure. But I think it's like 10 speakers, 540 watts. It does have a sub in the back. And I do have another new vehicle with the Bose. And this just blows it away. I mean, there's just no competition. This stereo is freaking amazing. Like... If, if listening to music is important for you, this thing is epic. Super awesome. Do you have the sunroof? This uh, interior is black, obviously, but they do make a gray to that's super nice. Let's see what other issues were people wondering about. People were also wondering about this transmission. So, a bunch of new vehicles now have this transmission, this push button. And I really like it. Um, it's a 9-speed. It is a little clunky. It's probably got some older technology. And uh, I've actually had some people tell me that it's a German-made transmission. Not sure if that's true or not but it is a little clunky but uh for the most part i don't have a problem with that it seems to work pretty well and the push button to me is pretty intuitive like i never really struggle to you know find reverse or find drive or anything like that let's see what else these wheels, people were kind of afraid that uh, they were going to start um, getting nasty quick. Um, I see maybe a couple scratches on them, but nothing crazy. Like, you'd have to look pretty dang close to see anything bad. So far, I've managed not to curb them. Course, that's always a concern with nice wheels it's pretty easy to do yeah I don't see any rash on them yet so they've been holding good you know some of this black piano inside this stuff I was worried about but to be honest, it's pretty clean still. Like, there's a couple spots from who knows what pop and sticky fingers from kids. And there's been dogs in here and all that stuff. But this piano black is holding up good. So, there's four or five things that people ask a lot about. I figured we might as well talk about the things that I don't like so the number one thing is um, the Honda sensing so this has two cameras up high and maybe some kind of a sonar sen sonar sensor and the emblem 
that's the only thing I've had to take it back to the dealer for was the what's it called braking mitigation something like that and it's this button right uh, I think it's this one let's find out So if I hold it, so if I hold this down, it pops up collision mitigation braking system off. So that is the right button. So I used to have to turn that off every stinking time that I drove. And uh, it, it left that orange mark in there. But now they realigned these cameras um, up top here and on the top of the windshield and um, I don't have any problems. So what I was getting is a false braking, like a false brake mitigation. It would think that um, a car was gonna swerve over and hit me like all the time, like three times per drive. And as soon as that happens, the, wind, the wheel shakes and it pops up that, uh, that warning. And it is so freaking alarming. Like, it's like, oh, crap. Like, it scares you, especially if you're not ready for it. So that was my number one biggest gripe was that braking mitigation. My number two biggest gripe was the um, stupid, uh, um, what is it called? Wireless charging. Man, that stupid wireless charger is worthless, so I just turn it off now. There's a settings in the head unit there where you can turn it off. Um, I was at first kind of concerned about the blind spot monitoring, but I actually really like that spot now. Another one of my concerns was uh, the brakes were super touchy. Like you were doing the bobblehead sometimes, especially if anybody else drove, you were doing the bobblehead. And uh, I've just got used to them, or they've broken in a little bit. These are nice brakes, actually. They're still a little sensitive, but I really like them now. So the only thing that I really couldn't solve was that, that wireless charging. Um, I did actually make a couple of videos about a brakes, excuse me, a gas smell. And since this is the wire of the uh, capless tank, um, I don't know if fumes were coming out or what, but I have not had a problem with that for, I would say at least four months. So that's pretty awesome. A couple people did actually contact me about that as well, saying they had the same problem. Anyways, as far as right now goes, this thing's running awesome. I, I do my own oil changes and uh, I've changed it twice already. Should only change it once, but I did kind of a precautionary change at like 5,000. I got that on video as well. I'm kind of thinking about putting a skid plate or something on this. See, they have a couple aftermarket skid plates. Overall, it looks pretty good. I think I'm gonna put a black license plate on this thing, make it look a little better anyways hope everybody's having an awesome tuesday hit that like button hit that subscribe button peace